All right, we'll get started on the New York Jets. Uh, another really good team. You, I mean, the first thing we always look at is the returners, and they have Jalen Marshall, uh, the rookie free agent kid from Ohio State, who's having a nice year, uh, especially in the kick return game. Uh, you know, he's he, he's strong runner, north and south guy, breaks tackles, has great balance and vision. So we get, we you know we got our work cut out. Uh, with, with this guy, and then their specialists have been doing a nice job. Nick Folks, a guy that's been around for a long time, and I mean he's 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 one of the top guys in the league. I think he's only missed one kick under 40 yards. So uh, when he goes out there, he gives them their points, and uh, so we we got a lot of a lot of work to do on on this one. But uh, they're they're well coached, and, and we hope to play well on Sunday. So with that, I'll answer any questions. That was once again very easy. <laughs> Is it nice to see Corey Coleman running around out there, and are you looking forward to having him back fairly soon, hopefully? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's always good when you see guys that that have been injured uh, working to get back, and, and with, you know, he's a, he's a step closer. So we'll we'll be super excited when he's you know all the way ready. Chris, you mentioned it, I think, yesterday, just about how um, Cole quit solid for you. Do you feel like that kind of just settled down the whole, you know, kind of your whole unit after maybe a little shake-up early in the year? I think so. I think, you know, both of them are really good pros, uh, and I think that probably does help settle the room a little bit. I've, to be honest with you, I've never, really never thought about it like that. Uh, but they're both performing at a high level, and we need them to perform at a high level. Uh, you know, Colquitt's a guy that can, can move the football around, and he has some other kicks that he's developed. Uh, that, that he actually broke out one of the kicks last week and, and did a really nice job uh, with it, which helps our younger guys going down and covering. So that, that's, that's been a plus. And, and Cody's, you know, he's con continues to work at his craft and is, and is doing a nice job when called upon. So uh, we we'll feel fortunate there and still have a ways to go, but uh, expect those guys to play well on Sunday. No, we didn't. Uh, you know, he's he feels pretty good about it. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you that I was more concerned about the first time when we went down the New England game because he hadn't, hadn't been down there. But uh, being the pro that he is, he says, "Coach, I'm I'm good." He goes, "I almost will treat it like a road game," and uh, he goes, "There's plenty of stadiums I haven't been in, and that that will go kick at and." And he kicked he kicked well that day, and you know we actually probably have more wind out at practice because uh, just there's not anything blocking it, and he's been kicking well in that. So I, I feel confident that we're getting the the wind work uh, that 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 we need, and uh, just with where he's at, how he's striking the ball, and where he's at mentally, I, I feel good spot.